Hello everyone, we are back on Madden 24 Chicago Bears franchise. Before we get into this video, I would like to ask you to, to please leave a like, hit subscribe, all that other good stuff, and uh, leave your favorite emoji in the comment section. So, we are here, Justin Fields, I believe this is a quarterback breakout opportunity for him. He's already a superstar X-Factor, so if I had to take a wild guess, that would likely mean an increase in xp you get a big boost of xp so let's try to get that for him in this game four touchdowns no interceptions i believe that's what they want us to do got some upgrades here for kyler gordon our slot corner has been very good for us so far throughout this series um so plus two man coverage and press tackle zone so that's pretty nice for us um I like seeing that really good upgrade for him as uh yeah, superstar dev. Good player for us. Happy that he has developed so far in this series for us. So now we're going to come back again here uh, for Jordan Elias. We can upgrade for him. I was kind of wasn't sure what to go with for him on this one. We're going to go with deep threat, actually. Plus two awareness, plus two catching, and plus two release. That release is very important. Get him out of those breaks or get him out of you know, the start of his routes as fast as we possibly can. Use that 98 speed, use that 99 acceleration, get those catch ratings up higher, and uh, yeah, get that release up, and uh, pretty nice. He's a really great player for us so far, probably the Offensive Rookie of the Year already. So we have some stat points here to spend, and we're going to go with hands-on defense here. And we're going to bring down the talent cost 10% less, and then we're going to work to get the second upgrade for that to bring it down 20 percent you see some of these are really expensive um so we need to get these up um yeah we just just had to get these up and uh gotta make these cheaper to get as we've raised the cost to actually acquire these so we're gonna be taking on the titans they're two and two they're starting will levis and they still have derrick henry so this will be a good test for our run defense and kind of see if we can shut down derrick henry and improve on last week where we gave up multiple hundred yard rushers almost so let's get into this game week five of the nfl season has the chicago bears traveling to tennessee to take on the titans justin fields coming off a very good performance 309 yards four touchdowns on the day for him last week taking on a young quarterback here will levis and derrick henry a mix of veterans and youth on this titans team so early on here, third and nine. Look at this nice throw here from Justin Fields. Just lofting that one right into the bread basket of Jordan Elias. Putting that ball where only Elias could get it. It's either caught or in a completion. Nice throw there. And here it is going for it all. Jordan Elias comes up with this one all the way down to the four. 70 yards in two plays for Elias right there. Now a handoff here to Khalil Herbert. Gets a block from CJ Ham into the end zone. He goes touchdown Bears. Just like that. It's like clockwork here for this Bears offense. And just a simple outside handoff here. Herbert gets the blocks he needed. And out would come Will Levis. He's going to have to do something to match that. Levis so far in this season. Three touchdowns to nine interceptions. The most in the league. So Levis now, third and 10. That's almost picked off by Kyler Gordon. That throw was so bad. I don't think not even Gordon could adjust to it to pick it off. So third and six here for the Bears. Fields, quick throw here. That is a risky throw. You got to really drive that football into that spot and hope that your man can come up with it. When you're throwing the DJ more, you feel pretty good about that more often than not. So now Fields. On the outside here, going to keep this one himself. Runs it, picks up the first down here. Gain of 16 on that one. He's been in the pocket more often recently. Has not been running too much, but third and 10 here. Go for it all here to commit. He can't come up with the football, so they'd have to punt it back to Tennessee. So Levis here, third and seven now. Steps back, looking. Gets pressured. Javon Upshaw gets the strip sack. And it's Benjamin Smart coming up with it right there. Will Levis got pressured from Javon Upshaw. Tried getting away and ends up fumbling the football deep, deep, deep here in their own territory. Not good. First and goal here. Play action pass here. Fields on the run. Going to throw this one to, to CJ Ham. 
I believe I might have called someone's name a little too soon here. Second and goal here. Fields looking. Throws this one. Jordan Elias comes up with it. Fields had a couple guys open on that one. But Jordan Elias getting the touchdown right there. Just the embarrassment of riches. On You see a wide open guy over there on the right side of the field. But then Elias was streaking open. So now first and ten. DeAndre Hopkins comes up with it. No, he doesn't. That one gets dislodged. Couldn't hold on to the football. Second and 10. Levis going to throw this one here underneath. Picks up a couple yards. Third and five. Gets a completion. Very nice stuff there. Now pressure again from Javon Upshaw. And Upshaw forces another fumble. And it's Frankie Louvu coming up with it this time. Another fumble. Back-to-back -back drives. Backed up against your own end zone here and just giving up fumbles. Setting up this Bears offense perfectly. Now play action again. Fields on the run. Just going to throw this one here to Irv Smith Jr. He just walks right into the end zone. That's who I was calling a little bit too early earlier. Irv Smith Jr. gets the touchdown here. And 21 zip here in this first quarter. But then Will Levis going to find a nice throw right here to Traylon Burks. Picking up the first down right there. So Levis able to get outside this time and not get chased down. But Levis here pressured again. Has to just throw on the run here. And he's finding Traylon Burks here. So, you know, if this Tennessee team could maybe give Levis some time, maybe he could do something. But here he is pressured again from Upshaw. Just has to throw this one into the dirt to avoid the sack. Fourth and six. Out would come the field goal unit for Tennessee. They'd kick this one up. It is good as the first quarter winds down here, but just a very rough start for Tennessee. But now Justin Fields is going to throw this one here. Jordan Elias holds on to the football. Comes up with the catch. And Elias just destroying these Titans here. Second quarter, third and three. Fields looking, throwing. Going to find Elias. Picks up the first down right there. Fields at this point in the game, 10 for 13. Now second and five. Going to be a handoff here to Khalil Herbert, and the seeds just kind of part for him right there. He picks up the first down right there. Very good stuff here from Khalil Herbert. Now a play action look here. Fields just throws this one up to the end zone. Didn't really have anything. Incomplete pass. Fourth and five. Field goal unit would come out for the Bears. Santos kicks this one up. It's good. 24 to three now. So now third and three here. Titans, they would drive down the field, and then it'd be a Will Levis interception to Eddie Jackson in the end zone. And just not an ideal day here for Will Levis to start this first half. And that one, I mean, that just never had a shot for Traylon Burks. you got to put it on his numbers. You can't you know, at least throw up. You've been better off throwing it behind him. So third and three here. Roshan Johnson getting some carries here. Shoves one man off. Mix and another man miss and then gets WWF spear tackled out of bounds, but still picks up the first down. So now first and 10 play action. Look here. Fields looking, looking, just going to try to take off here on this one. Fields going to get out of bounds. Second and one here for the Bears. Now it's going to be a handoff. Nope. Play action. Look here. Fields on the run, uh, tries cutting it back inside. Maybe expected a block right there. First and 10 coming up after that. Fourth and two. They decide to go for it here. Throws this one here to Elias. Felt the heat coming in. Needed that play to develop just a tad bit more. But the Titans wouldn't be able to do anything with that. So Levis on the run again gets hit by Luvu. Fourth and 10. They'd punt the football away. It's been one of those days for Will Levis asking, can I get some blocking, please? So here's Khalil Herbert picking up the first down right there. Very nice play here from Khalil Herbert. In a contract year, playing very well. Herbert again, going to get another run here. Gets some good blocks. Picks up the first down right there. Khalil Herbert starting to kind of power up here in the second half of this game. Now Fields, five wide. Throws this one quick strike here to Cole Komet. Picks up the first down. Very nice play here from Cole Komet. He's had a very good season as well. Might not look at it like from the touchdown standpoint, but still very productive. Here's DJ Moore underneath, picking up some nice yards right there. That'll make it second and three. And the comeback here, handoff to Herbert. And he picks up the first down and then some more. Going to get shoved out of bounds. And Herbert, really nice play right there from him. First and ten again. 
Now I'm just going to set up a little screenplay here for Herbert. Gets a block up here. Tries cutting it back inside. And he would come up dinged up here on this play. That'd be a bruised sternum for him. So that would end his day. The rest of the day would be, to, would be for Roshan Johnson. And it has to be good if you're the Bears where you have a running back here like Roshan Johnson where you just feel confident that, you know what, even if Herbert goes down, you're, you're good at running back. You have Roshan Johnson. He carried the rack at the end of last season and for most of the playoffs. So you feel good about him. So now Fields running. Throws this one back cross body. It's the Zach Koontz. Touchdown, Bears. Zachary Koontz coming up with that one. And another touchdown here for this Bears offense. Zach Koontz here. Fields, that's an amazing play right there. That's why when he struggled, you still believed in him because you thought that, you know, he can do things like that. Not every quarterback can do that. Here's Javon Upshaw causing some havoc in the backfield here for the running game now. And Javon Upshaw has just been all over the place in this game. So now third and nine. Levis under pressure. It's Javon Upshaw again. Making his life. Playing the guitar here in Music City. And just nothing going right for Will Levis in this game. Just nothing at all. Multiple Bears players bringing him down. He's having a rough one. Fourth quarter now. Second and five. Little touch pass here to Jordan Elias. And Elias, he has open field in front of him. He's going to take this one in. Touchdown, Bears. They strike again. It's Jordan Elias. Teams just cannot stop that little motion jet sweep touch pass. They can't do it. He's just too fast. So now Levis on the run again. Look at this throw here to Derek Henry. Eddie Jackson could not make a play on the football. And that's just a great play right there I mean improvising with the pressure coming in good stuff there from Will Levis there's some things here if you're Tennessee you have to like just like that right there you have to like seeing that stuff from Will Levis just uh gotta rebuild this offensive line if you're Tennessee here's Derrick Henry gonna get dragged into the end zone right there touch down Titans they get on the board here again it's still a 28 point game though so now third and five fields looking Throws this one here. Going to find Jordan Elias. Picks up the first down with around four minutes left to go in this game. So now Justin Fields. Now they run this little touch pass here to DJ Moore now. DJ Moore, he can make something happen with it as well. He picks up the first down and some more in this one. DJ Moore, you know, getting the ball into his hands so many different ways. You like seeing that development. And here it is. DJ Moore again getting in front of the defense right there. And just cannot stop it. Now first and goal here. Field steps back. Slant throw. Going to find DJ Moore. What else are you going to do here? I mean, what else can this Titans team do to this? This is Bears team. Too many weapons. Too good. Too fast. And they are up here. Big in this game. DJ Moore hold, holds on to that. You can't put a linebacker on DJ Moore coverage. That's just not ideal. Uh, so, yeah. Close this game out. It's going to be Roshan Johnson with... A run here that gets him up over a hundred yards on the day. 45 to 10 is gonna be your final score in this one as the Bears route the Titans in this one wearing the Oilers throwbacks. Will Levis, rough day at the office for him. You saw some things that you like though from Will Levis in this one, despite the multiple fumbles and the interception. Some good throws in there mixed in as well. Justin Fields, 24-35, 294 yards, five passing touchdowns on the day. Khalil Herbert, 16 carries, 79 yards, one rushing touchdown. Jordan Elias, seven receptions, 137 receiving yards, two receiving touchdowns. Then Will Levis, 14 for 30, 210 yards, one interception, two lost fumbles. Derrick Henry, 12 carries, 67 yards, one rushing touchdown. Had some nice receptions in this game. And then DeAndre Hopkins, three receptions, 59 yards in this one as the Bears defeat the Titans 45-10. to So that was a really good game for us. Uh, pretty much dominated them from the start of the game. We was able to get immediate pressure. And that's something I complained about last year. Just felt like we couldn't get enough of that. And that's why I went out and drafted Benjamin Smart and uh, Javon Upshaw. Because I wanted to get pressure on this, you know, up the interior of this line. And we've been able to do that. Darnell Wright gets an upgrade. I wish offensive linemen had drills they could do to earn them more XP. But they don't, so that kind of sucks. Benjamin Smart, who we recently found out has Superstar Dev. We're going to go speed rusher for him. Plus 
three finesse moves that's pretty nice actually get those finesse moves up to the mid 70s or something i like to see by the end of the season uh and uh, then maybe start focusing on power moves a little bit more so quarterback breakout opportunity that we had i'm pretty sure we got it and it's another huge day for justin fields we must feel lucky to have as our team leader and we definitely do and uh yeah played great for us in this game i mean that was a maybe the best game i've had with him we've had some pretty good games before but this one was really good Fifteen thousand xp for justin fields and uh yes yeah, so we're gonna go in here use those that gets us two upgrades sorry on the verge of getting another upgrade so looking around here what do we want to go with we're gonna go with field general for him uh for both of these upgrades and field general here plus one play action throw short throw power and throw under pressure and we get an ability slot we're gonna go with field general again here and we are gonna get plus one awareness plus one throw deep and plus one throw accuracy short wanted to see some plus twos or maybe some plus threes in there but we'll take those upgrades here here are his core attributes right now looking really good um yeah i mean currently playing up to an 89 overall and we're gonna give him clutch for this last one so it should allow him to enter the zone a little bit easier in in close games in the fourth quarter we're actually going to change his x-factor ability i just can't really scramble that often it's just not that's not part of my game i'm not looking to run all the time with justin fields anymore you want to keep him healthy and not have fumbles so we're gonna go with gambit for him so i believe that used to be called gambler uh can't be intercepted by ai defenders and increased throw speed your off offensive and defensive player of the weeks for the NFC went to Justin Fields and Javon Upshaw. Six tackles, two sacks, two forced fumbles. Was a monster in this game. And uh, again, it's going to take a little bit longer to get his dev trait revealed, but I'm still assuming his dev trait is a star. So when we come back, forecast heavy rain, crisis and confidence by one of our receivers. I'm going to assume that's Darnell Mooney. And we're taking on the Houston Texans. They're two and three on the season. We're five and oh. And uh, yeah, so rain game. We haven't had a rain game in a while. So, and uh, we'll take a look here at the NFC North. You see the pair, the Bears. We're sitting here at five and oh. Packers three and two. Vikings two and three. And the Lions are at oh and five. Looks like the Lions are back in the cellar. So, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like, be sure to hit subscribe, leave your favorite emoji in the comment section below. It helps with engagement. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.